What did you want to talk to me about? Don't play dumb. You know damn well what I want to talk about. That secret. Oh. Eden and Teriko just swapped in. Gross. Ugh! Hello there. It's okay. What? What's your point? sort of fun activity with a stupid bitch like you. <laughs> Ignoring the fact that you utterly disgust me in every way, did you forget? That whole baking activity that you did is what killed Min. Is that what you're worried about? It's true that some of the events were related, but it didn't literally kill her. It's because Xander was doing something bad, and Min was in the wrong place at the wrong time. If you never tried to do that stupid baking thing, Min would still be standing here. She never would have made that critical mistake of wanting to help others. Do you get it? You're responsible for her death. I... I didn't. That's definitely not true. After Min died, you washed your hands clean of your involvement and said there's nothing I could have done about it, right? I didn't. I really didn't. You tried to make everyone feel bad for you by pretending to be all weepy and sad about Min's death. Stop it! That's not true at all! And once you're tired of faking tears, you go back to your usual cheerful self. Like you never had anything to do with it. I didn't want Min to die! I... She was happy then, when we were together. Speaks volumes. As long as people act cheerful, that justifies your selfishness, right? You do whatever silly things make you happy. And you don't give a damn about the consequences. We're in the middle of a killing game. Your cheerful attitude puts people in danger. The more you peddle your stupid friendship bonding, the more people are gonna die. And it'll be all your fault. Just... Like men. I... <laughs> of course. were we talking about before? Those motive secrets, hmm? You want everyone to spill their secrets, don't you? You go first, Hariko. Tell me what your deepest, darkest secret is. older sisters for everything I could think of and got them unlawfully sent to reform school. <laughs> Hello. 
Hang on. Hmm? That's... lied earlier. I didn't really enjoy seeing Eden cry, nor did I enjoy making her feel bad. I was only trying to help her. This killing game only proves my worldview right. Only strong people who take advantage of others can survive. That's how the world works. And if Eden doesn't realize that soon and quit trying to be the nice one, she's going to suffer for it. Doesn't she realize that if she can't fend for herself, and only herself. She'll be eaten up by those who take advantage of that kindness? I can't stand that naivety of hers! I can't stand how easy it is for her to make friends! Someone like her clearly has never had to fight so that others want to look down on her! It's not fair! It's not fair that she can be kind and trusting and naive, and no one takes advantage of that! That's not how it works! That's never been how it works for me! So then... Why? Why did she get to be so happy and nice? Why did she get to grow up being treated with kindness? What did she do to deserve that? I want so badly for kind people to exist in this world! But they can't! So why does Eden exist? Why couldn't I have been like her? Why did she grow up to be happy? But I never got a chance! It's... not... fair! All right. I wanted... I just wanted to... Please, leave me alone. Don't look at me like this.
All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even if you say you didn't care about your secret, it clearly brought up bad memories. I can't say that what you did to your sisters was right, but I can definitely say that what they did to you was wrong. No one deserves to be treated that cruelly. You least of all. You didn't deserve that. Really? <laughs> That's right. Did you live in the same place for most of your life? Y yeah Your family might have been cruel to you, but you don't have to see them anymore. Your life and situation have changed, and you're an adult now. You can spend the rest of your life around people who are much kinder and much more mature. You'll soon see that the real world isn't as harsh as you were led to believe. You don't have to act cruelly to survive anymore. But... still... I've been so awful all this time. Everyone here must think I'm a horrible person. Because I am. You can change. People can always change. <laughs> Things will be better. I promise. Alright? Okay. Th thank you. You are nice too. Listen to me. Huh? What's going on? Uh, 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 um. What's with you? I have a photographic memory. Sorry. <coughs> 
What's going on? Your... your painting... sucks. Looks really bad. I can't look at something so ugly. Yeah. Uh... I mean... You took on your talent to earn money for your family, but you've since put them in a lifetime of debt. Well... I remember... A photographic memory. You know... What do you mean? Looking back, I don't regret having made that deal. After all, the other choice would have been much worse. There's no way my family could have ever recovered from that. But... <sighs> to be honest, I'm not very happy with what my life has become now. Forever working to pay off my mistakes, and never being able to call my art my own. This isn't the life of an artist that I wanted. It's not what anyone would want. All I do is make paintings on others' beck and call. It's been so long that I don't think I remember how to paint something original anymore. That spark of vitality is missing from anything I make. Like this painting. And I can't help but feel like I'm missing a part of myself. Hmm, almost done. Just needs a final touch. Mm hmm? I'm destroying it. Is that not obvious? What a shame.
What's the big deal? Anyway... Looks like I tripped over a pile of blankets. Wait, those aren't blankets. Huh? Huh? Uh, um... Hmm? What's with you? What are we doing? But... Um... Well... But... Oh.